Hi guys, so uh, in this video I'm gonna be showing you what you might have noticed uh, when you multiplied polynomials. You might have picked up uh, some some tricks here and there. So uh, basically the, the three special products that I'm gonna show are called the um, square of a sum. Uh, later on, let me just move the screen a little. The other one that I'm gonna show is the square of a difference. And then the last one is the product of uh, some and a difference. So uh, let's start with the square root of sum. Uh, let's say that I have a plus b squared. This is simply gonna be, uh, uh, be careful here because you might have the, the, the urge to apply pro properties of exponents here and you might feel that you need to apply the same exponent to, to every term there. But that, that property of exponent only applies when it's divided into factors. So right now, you don't have a times b, so you can't apply that rule that way. So instead, what we're gonna do is that we know that, for example, if you have a nine squared, this is the same as nine times nine, the number being multiplied by itself. So right now I have a plus b squared, so I'm gonna write it as uh, a plus b times a plus b. Now. Why is this so different? Because if I had applied that property of exponent, let's say that that, that would be a property of exponent, though it's not, uh, you would be getting a squared plus b squared. And, and this statement is not true at all. You're never going to get that. Uh, so you're going to see right now uh, that when I multiply these, let me use the highlighter here, I'm going to multiply the first term times the first uh, term here and then the first term times the last and then the second term here let me pick another uh, highlighter second term here times first and then second times last so when I multiply here I get a times a a squared and then a times b I have plus a b uh, b times a that's simply uh, b a or or if I write it uh, because of commutative property, I can write it as AB2. And then the last term is actually uh, B squared. Now, uh, the coefficient for, for uh, AB is one because it's not written all, at all, so it's implied that it's one. So let me put one in red here so that you remember that. Uh, you don't need to write it. You just uh, know that by notation it's presented like that. And then, well, you just add those two because these two are like terms. So AB plus AB, that's 2AB. And then you move down the rest of the terms. So notice how uh, I started with a, a binomial here, squared. And then I ended up with a three-term polynomial or a trinomial. Uh, and uh, that it was never close to, to this answer because I have a middle term here that's not included uh, there. So whenever, uh, whenever I have the square of a sum, a plus b squared, it's simply gonna be first and last term squared, that part you got just about right, but then it's gonna be twice the multiplication of both terms, so times uh, two times a b. So if you happen to have uh, um, 4x plus 3 squared, well, this is going to be, well, 4x squared is 16x squared plus, well, then I multiply 4 times 3, so that's 12x, and then times 2, that's 24x plus uh, 3 squared, which is simply 9. 
and that's how you apply the first uh, the first uh, special product which is called the square of a sum and then in the next video I'm gonna continue with the square of a difference